Welcome back, history enthusiasts, to our thrilling history of ancient Egypt channel. Today, we are embarking on an epic adventure through the sands of time to uncover the awe-inspiring achievements of one of ancient Egypt's most visionary rulers, Pharaoh Djoser. Get ready to witness the birth of architectural greatness as we delve into the extraordinary world of this ancient Egyptian pharaoh who revolutionized pyramid construction. Fasten your seatbelts, hit that subscribe button, and join us on this trending journey to discover the secrets of Pharaoh Djoser's incredible reign. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to take you on a ride through the extraordinary life and times of Pharaoh Djoser, a true pioneer of ancient Egypt. Brace yourselves for a mind-blowing experience as we explore his architectural masterpieces and unravel the mysteries of his reign. Pharaoh Djoser not only reshaped the skyline of ancient Egypt but also revolutionized its political and administrative systems. His ambitious projects left an indelible mark on the land of the Nile, and his influence extended far beyond his time. From the vibrant markets to the majestic temples, Djoser's reign was a time of innovation and cultural achievement. Join us on this captivating journey as we unlock the secrets of his tomb and the sacred rituals that honored his divinity. Step into the mysterious world of Djoser's tomb, a hidden sanctuary for the pharaoh's eternal rest. Traverse the labyrinthine corridors and witness the remnants of ancient rituals, connecting the mortal realm with the divine. Pharaoh Djoser's legacy echoes through the ages, influencing the architectural wonders that followed and captivating the imaginations of historians, architects, and enthusiasts around the world. From towering skyscrapers to awe-inspiring monuments, modern architectural marvels pay homage to the pioneering spirit of Pharaoh Djoser. Witness the global impact of his visionary designs that continue to inspire and captivate us today. Get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey into the extraordinary world of Pharaoh Djoser, the architectural innovator of ancient Egypt. Rise of Djoser Djoser, also known as Netjeriket, ascended to the throne during the 27th century BCE around 2686 BCE, a time of significant political and cultural changes in Egypt. Little is known about his early life and lineage, but his reign marked a turning point in Egyptian history. His name, Djoser's name, Netjeriket, carries significant meaning in ancient Egyptian culture. Like many pharaohs of the time, Djoser adopted a Horus name, which symbolized his divine kingship and connection to the gods. The name Djoser, by which he is commonly known, is derived from his Horus name, Netjeriket. The name Djoser is a modernized version of the name that emerged in later periods, while Netjeriket was the name used during his reign. The name Netjeriket is composed of two elements, Netjer and Ikhet. Netjer translates to God or divine, indicating the pharaoh's divine status as a ruler. Aket means body or form, representing the physical embodiment of the god. The combination of these elements in Djoser's name reflects the ancient Egyptian belief in the pharaoh's divine nature. It suggests that Djoser, as pharaoh, was the earthly manifestation of the god Horus and was granted divine authority to rule over Egypt. The use of divine names by pharaohs was common in ancient Egypt, as it emphasized their close association with the gods and their role as intermediaries between the divine realm and the mortal world. These names were considered sacred and held great religious and symbolic significance. His Name Sources the primary source of information about Djoser and his name is the archaeological evidence found within his pyramid complex at Saqqara. Inscriptions and reliefs on the walls of the complex provide important clues about his reign, achievements, and divine associations. The Step Pyramid itself contains inscriptions that mention Djoser's name, including his Horus name, Netjeriket. These inscriptions often depict Djoser in various religious and ceremonial scenes, reinforcing his divine role and providing context for his name. Additionally, various artifacts associated with Djoser, such as statues, stelae, and other objects, bear inscriptions in hieroglyphic texts that mention his name. These artifacts have been discovered in different locations throughout Egypt and provide further evidence of his existence and the usage of his name during his reign. Egyptologists, who are experts in the study of ancient Egypt, 
have extensively researched and analyzed these sources to decipher the hieroglyphic inscriptions and interpret the meanings behind Djoser's name. They combine their knowledge of the ancient Egyptian language, grammar, and cultural context to reconstruct the significance of the name based on linguistic and historical analysis. While the exact meaning and interpretations of Djoser's name may still be subject to scholarly debate and ongoing research, these sources form the basis for our current understanding of his name and its significance in ancient Egyptian culture. Djoser's Family Information about Djoser's family is somewhat limited, and the details are not as well documented as some other pharaohs of ancient Egypt. However, based on the available evidence, here is what is known about Djoser's family. Parents Djoser's parentage is not definitively known. There are theories suggesting that he was the son of either Pharaoh Kasekemwi or Pharaoh Wenig, both of whom ruled during the Second Dynasty of Ancient Egypt. However, these theories are speculative, and the exact identity of Djoser's parents remains uncertain. Wives Djoser is believed to have had several wives. One of the most prominent queens associated with him is Queen Hedda Fernebti who was buried in a tomb adjacent to his pyramid complex at Saqqara. She is depicted in reliefs and statues alongside Djoser, indicating her high status and important role as his consort. Children Djoser is known to have had at least one daughter named Inet Kaz, or possibly Nabit Kaz, whose tomb was discovered near his pyramid. Inet Kaz held a prominent position and is depicted in inscriptions and reliefs as a princess with high-ranking titles. It is possible that Djoser had other children, but their identities and roles are not well documented. Successor Djoser was succeeded by his vizier, high-ranking official, named Sekemket, who is believed to have been his stepson. Sekemket constructed his own pyramid at Saqqara, known as the Buried Pyramid, although it remained unfinished. Overall, while the information about Djoser's family is somewhat limited, it is clear that he had wives and at least one daughter. The exact details of his lineage and the broader family connections are still subject to ongoing research and archaeological discoveries in the field of Egyptology. Length of Djoser's Reign The exact length of Djoser's reign is a subject of debate among historians and Egyptologists. The most commonly accepted estimate for the duration of his rule is around 19 years although some sources suggest a range between 17 and 20 years. The main sources for determining Djoser's reign length come from the Palermo Stone, an ancient Egyptian royal annal that lists the names of pharaohs and important events. Unfortunately, the section that recorded Djoser's reign on the Palermo Stone is damaged, making it difficult to ascertain the exact number of years he ruled. To calculate the length of Djoser's reign, Egyptologists rely on other sources, such as the Turin King List and various inscriptions found within his pyramid complex. These sources provide limited information, and the calculations involve some degree of interpretation and estimation. Based on the available evidence and scholarly consensus, it is generally believed that Djoser ruled for approximately 19 years. However, it's important to note that the exact duration of his reign remains an area of ongoing study and may be subject to revision as new evidence emerges. Djoser's reign. Djoser's reign marked a significant period in ancient Egyptian history, known as the Third Dynasty of the Old Kingdom. Although the historical record is limited, some important aspects of Djoser's reign can be gleaned from archaeological evidence and inscriptions found at his pyramid complex at Saqqara. Architectural Innovations. Djoser is best known for his ambitious building projects, particularly the construction of his pyramid complex. Under the guidance of his architect Imhotep, Djoser's pyramid complex at Saqqara introduced several architectural innovations. The Step Pyramid, which stands as the centerpiece of the complex, was the first large-scale cut stone construction and the earliest known pyramid in Egypt. Its unique design, with multiple stacked mastabas, represented a significant departure from the earlier mastaba tombs and laid the foundation for the pyramid structures that followed. Centralized Administration Djoser's reign saw a centralization of power and administration in Egypt. He established a more organized and bureaucratic system, appointing officials to oversee various aspects of governance. 
The administration implemented by Djoser provided greater efficiency in governing the country and managing its resources. Expeditions Djoser is known to have undertaken expeditions to the Sinai Peninsula to obtain valuable resources, including copper and turquoise. These expeditions expanded Egypt's influence and wealth, securing important natural resources for trade and further enhancing the kingdom's power. Cultural and Religious Influence Djoser's reign witnessed a continuation of religious and cultural practices that were prevalent in ancient Egypt. The pharaoh maintained his role as the divine representative on earth, closely associated with the falcon-headed god Horus. The steppe pyramid complex itself was a significant religious monument, serving as a site for religious rituals, offerings, and cult activities. Economic Prosperity Djoser's reign coincided with a period of economic prosperity in ancient Egypt. The expeditions to the Sinai Peninsula and the acquisition of valuable resources contributed to the kingdom's wealth and trade networks. The increased availability of resources, coupled with a centralized administration, likely stimulated economic growth and stability during his reign. Cult of Imhotep Djoser's reign is closely associated with his renowned architect, Imhotep. Imhotep's design and construction of the steppe pyramid complex elevated him to a semi-divine status, and he became revered as a deity in later periods. The cult of Imhotep grew, and he was venerated as a patron of wisdom, medicine, and architecture, symbolizing the close connection between intellectual pursuits, religion, and state power during Djoser's reign. Influence on successive dynasties Djoser's reign laid the foundation for subsequent dynasties and their construction projects. The architectural innovations and advancements seen in his pyramid complex influenced later pharaohs who sought to build grander and more elaborate structures. The ideas and techniques developed during Djoser's reign formed the basis for the evolution of pyramid architecture in ancient Egypt. Legacy of Stability Djoser's reign is generally considered to have been a period of political stability in ancient Egypt. The centralization of power and administrative reforms helped maintain order and provide a sense of stability throughout the kingdom. This stability allowed for the flourishing of art, architecture, and cultural development during the Old Kingdom period. Djoser's Tomb Djoser's tomb is located within his pyramid complex at Saqqara, Egypt. The complex, known as the Steppe Pyramid Complex, is an extensive funerary complex that includes Djoser's burial site, as well as various structures and buildings associated with his mortuary cult. The main feature of the steppe pyramid complex is the steppe pyramid itself, which served as Djoser's burial place. The steppe pyramid is a six-tiered structure, consisting of stacked mastabas, or rectangular tomb structures, with the largest mastaba at the base and progressively smaller ones on top. This unique pyramid design, created by Djoser's architect Imhotep, represents a significant departure from earlier tombs and marks the transition to the iconic pyramids of ancient Egypt. Beneath the steppe pyramid, a complex system of underground tunnels and chambers was constructed to house Djoser's burial chamber and funerary equipment. The burial chamber was located deep within the pyramid, accessible through a network of passages and corridors. However, the exact layout and details of Djoser's burial chamber and its contents are not fully known, as the tomb has been extensively looted and damaged over the millennia. Adjacent to the steppe pyramid, there are also several structures that formed part of Djoser's mortuary complex. These include the Heb Sed Court, where jubilee festivals were held to rejuvenate the pharaoh's rule, and the southern tomb, which is believed to have served a symbolic or ceremonial function. It's important to note that Djoser's tomb and pyramid complex were not solely dedicated to his burial. They were also intended to serve as a focal point for his posthumous cult, where rituals and offerings would be conducted to ensure his eternal well-being and continued divine status. Despite damage and deterioration over time, Djoser's tomb and the steppe pyramid complex at Saqqara remain significant archaeological sites that provide valuable insights into the funerary practices and architectural achievements of ancient Egypt.
The discovery of Djoser's tomb within the Stet Pyramid complex at Saqqara can be traced back to the early 19th century. In 1821, French archaeologist Jean-Francois Champollion and his team began excavations in the Saqqara area, which eventually led to the unearthing of Djoser's tomb. Champollion's work primarily focused on deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs, and during his investigations, he came across inscriptions and artifacts that hinted at the presence of an important royal tomb in the vicinity. These discoveries, along with the accounts of earlier explorers, prompted Champollion to explore the Steppe Pyramid complex further. In 1837, British archaeologist Sir William Matthew Flinders Petrie continued the excavations at Saqqara, and it was during his extensive work that the full extent of Djoser's tomb and the surrounding complex began to be revealed. Petrie discovered Djoser's burial chamber and unearthed numerous artifacts, inscriptions, and statues associated with the pharaoh. Since Petrie's excavations, further archaeological work has been carried out at the Steppe Pyramid complex, shedding more light on Djoser's tomb and the structures within the complex. Ongoing studies and research continue to uncover new insights into the architecture, burial practices, and religious significance of Djoser's tomb and its surrounding area. And that concludes our captivating exploration of Pharaoh Djoser and his revolutionary reign in ancient Egypt. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the architectural marvels and cultural achievements of this visionary ruler. If you were as mesmerized as we were by the grandeur of the Steppe Pyramid Complex and the legacy of Pharaoh Djoser, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to keep spreading the fascination of ancient Egypt. Stay tuned for our upcoming episodes, where we'll continue unraveling the mysteries and wonders of civilization's past. From pyramids to pharaohs, we're dedicated to bringing you the most intriguing stories from history. Thank you for joining us on this epic journey through time. Remember, the past holds endless treasures waiting to be discovered, and we're thrilled to have you along for the ride. Until next time, keep exploring and keep embracing the awe-inspiring wonders of our world's rich heritage. Outro Visual. Subscribe now for more exciting episodes.